We've been hearing a lot of talk about DACA and the president's plan to end the program that provides temporary legal status for undocumented children. Well, tomorrow, President Trump is expected to start the process of ending DACA, calling for a six-month delay so Congress can step in. Well, Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski is joining us now. Jen, Colorado's Republican Congressman Mike Kaufman is pushing for protections for DREAMers. And there are more than 18,000 DREAMers here in Colorado, and all of them are anxiously awaiting the president's decision. Congressman Kaufman is trying to take action beforehand. He wants to force a vote on a bill known as the Bridge Act. Kaufman introduced this legislation back in January. It's flown under the radar until now. The Bridge Act put a, a three-year extension on the DREAM Act. And it would also give protections to DREAMers from deportation during that time. Kaufman says he plans to file a rarely used discharge petition on Tuesday. If half the House signs on, the Bridge Act would go up for an immediate vote without having to go through committee. Well, I think people are going to have a choice. Uh, if, if Republican leadership doesn't allow something else to come to the floor, then, then and, and we don't have the necessary signatures for the Bridge Act, then in effect the program goes away uh, and these young people get deported. Now, this is also interesting. Kaufman says he believes there are constitutional problems with the DACA program that won't stand up in court, mainly because it was created by an executive order. Kaufman pointed to a recent federal court case where the court found that the executive branch and the president can't make immigration law without Congress. I'm Jennifer Kovaleski for Denver 7. Very interesting. All right, Jen, thank you. And we've heard from many of you on the issue of DACA. University of Colorado says it will continue to admit students, no matter their immigration status. The university sent a letter to the student body and staff over the weekend pledging undocumented employees and students will be treated with respect. CU also says it will not release any student or employee's personal information to federal officials without a warrant. The university also plans to grow programs to help undocumented students financially and employ DACA recipients as long as possible. CU's Boulder campus has about 70 undocumented students.